Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna open something delicious. I hope. So this, I've been seeing ads for this for maybe two years. I've always wanted to try it and I never brought myself to spend the money. But they had little sample packs that were, um, they were advertising as stuff, as stocking stuffers. And there was 10 in each one and it was a total of $30. So I decided to finally try it. Bloom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Superfood latte blend. Yeah. So, I'm very excited. So Racy hot cocoa. Keep building your daydream balloon. And they tell you how to prepare it here. Ooh. How to make the perfect cup of... Um, Mix one to two tablespoons of bloom with a splash of boiling water. Slowly pour over one cup of hot or cold frothed milk. It says milk to, you know, any milk you want. And then you, you know, enjoy it. And this is the one I'm most excited about because it's purple and it's lavender. So, rosé London fog, oat milk chai, blue lavender, matcha coconut, and, uh, and uh, like a hot cocoa. Chocolate, basically, yes. These are all around 15 calories. Oh, this one, these are 10 calories. And uh, there's 10 servings in each bag. And I heard, like, this one, this is caffeine-free, it's plant-based, it's sugar-free. And, well, refined sugar-free. But, yeah, you add the calories in the milk to it. If you eat, if you drink non-sweetened almond milk, that's also, like, 15 calories in a cup, or 30. 35. It's very little. But you don't usually drink a whole cup. Anyway, so I'm really excited to try this. And apparently it's good for, like, before nighttime. The only thing that I don't like about that is that I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat anything or drink anything with calories, like, several hours before bed. But um, I will have to try this. I guess I'll try it a little earlier. Matcha. I wonder if matcha... Yeah, it's a perk up and stay ready. So this one I ha probably has caffeine because it's matcha and it doesn't say caffeine free on it. The hot chocolate. I doubt has caffeine. It doesn't say caffeine free. Usually chocolate has a little bit of caffeine. Exactly. And chai. Chai definitely has caffeine. Decaf. Decaf, decaf chai. chai. Decaf oh. chai. And this is also decaf. So, just the matcha one? And maybe a bit of in the hot chocolate. But yeah, it's really cool. It's good if you're vegan. Um, they're also very low in carbs if you're keto. I am trying to be keto, so I always look at carbs now. And like this one has just one gram of added sugars and one total of sugars. So, two grams of sugars, two carbs, two grams of carbs. <laughs> And they're all like that. So I'm excited to try them, and we might do the thing where we, you know, have a cup of each, and we taste them and tell you how they taste, because I'm really excited. I wanted to do this for so long. Aloha. I am Olena. This is Isaac. And, and we, we are, are the, the Travel, Travel Bug Bites. We met in Prague, Czech Republic. Lived in Shanghai, China. New York and Rhode Island, USA. And now we live in Hawaii. Hawaii. We've traveled from Tibet to Puerto Rico. Harbin to Pee Pee. And drove cross country with Smiley in our Tesla Model 3. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to follow, follow our adventures. adventures. If you liked our video, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Check out our videos from all around the world and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.